Hey Plastic Model Builders, it's me, Ari Stone with Plastic Model Builder, and this is part three of our Tamiya Spitfire Mark I. Uh, we are going to be putting together all of the wing area, or at least most of it, which includes your wheels, all the wheel parts, your coolers, all things, and we're going to attach it to the plane. Uh, first, what you just saw, we were putting together the rest of the exhausts. Make those look pretty. It's bottom making madness. We are putting miscellaneous parts here on the fuselage. Uh, we're not going to put those exhausts on. We're going to wait until after we paint. So we got some little pieces here. Uh, I used a knife to get it to stick. You might want to use something else. That way you don't dent it. You see how small they are? You just kind of guess where they go. One of those little deals with Tommy that I guess a little fail, but not a lot they can do with small parts. Oh, we're also going to be doing some more photo etching on this. So keep watching for all that. This little guy here, you just kind of fit it in and make sure you turn it properly. I guess it's like for fuel or for checking stuff. We have our rear stabilizers. Three different pieces right here. You're going to put on that piece right there and then the other side opposite. Uh, we're also going to be putting in the tail piece that has a photo etch part that we need to put in. All sorts of good stuff, I'm telling you. So just keep watching all this so you can see how it all goes together. So here's that PE piece I'm talking about right there. You got to bend it in half, both sides flip up, and then it's going to insert into the rear of the tail. It's a little tricky. So you'll see how this kind of goes. It's got lines in there. You put this in just like so. Once that's in, you get the photo etch piece and slide that barely inside of that. And then after you have the photo etch piece in, you put on the rest of the rear stabilizer. So you see that piece going in there, just use a toothpick to kind of push it in, make sure it's proper. I'm gonna secure it anyway with CA glue, that way it doesn't move and it stays in one spot. And then there's the rudder. You see that going in right there? Yes, I did glue it in, even though technically it's a rudder, probably wouldn't need to be glued in, but you don't want your plane to come apart. All right, so now we gotta drill some holes for some small little detail parts that we'll put on here one on each wing they're just small little pieces but they got to go on all right so now we have the little actuators these go on right here you see one go in there and then you'll put the one on the other side uh, here are the guns painted each one and put them in kind of got to do that ahead of time uh, does make it a little bit of a pain for painting um, because you're going to get stuff in there so here are the wheel wells they come in three pieces each side just pay attention to which side they go on you can't really mess it up because it only goes one way so if you lost your directions you can figure it out it just might take you a little bit of time so you see each one of those uh, we're also going to do all the painting for these little detail parts too to make it easier on the model so that's what we're doing here uh, painting a like a greenish color kind of like for the same as the cockpit but a little different on the insides of the wheel well we're going to get the uh, little circles that we did also we have some coolers that we have to paint and put the photo etch parts on going all around these little insides here uh, that's also part of the wheel well that will go on it's, it's a very detailed kit uh, Tommy did a very good job on this especially especially with the photo etch parts looks really pretty so that's where the coolers will go and you see some of those right there got some little extra parts in there that need to be painted uh, just make sure you get everything and we'll put all these onto the plane so you keep watching you'll see how it all goes together and that's the beauty of all this more green of course that's how it goes we're also going to do the wheels or at least the silver part of the wheels as well as the landing gear and the rear gear so pay attention for that uh, you see this getting painted that's the inside of the landing gear door the outside is a different color we're not going to put those onto the plane because we have to wait as well we're not even going to put the landing gear on we're going to fake that and next week you will see how we fake that so we can paint the aircraft without having to do too much masking it works out well for me at least that's how i do it so you here see the rest of this right here getting paint on there another second coat doesn't hurt to give a little extra coat in there you know your first coat let it dry and then you thicken it up a little bit it makes it look pretty so now we're painting some silver on here per the instructions 
and I probably should have done that ahead of time, but I just didn't read them. You know, you think everything kind of goes green, but some stuff doesn't. This goes aluminum. Here's your landing gear struts right there. We have right here is our hubcaps. See, put each one in there and just glue them down. You see the rear wheel right there. Painting these silver front and back, of course, each wheel and the hubcap. And we're going to uh, paint, hand paint the back wheel at least a little bit before we put on the back of it. We're not going to attach that either. You see how we're painting that? We're going to hand paint the uh, strip of that. And really not all of it needs to get painted because it goes inside of the aircraft. But since you're doing it, you may as well. It only takes an extra second to paint the rest of it see how that goes just like that very simple we have our propeller also that we're painting the uh, outside prop of that I believe I use some all clad on this don't quote me on that uh, we have right here like I said we're painting some of these photo etch parts that these are going to go on to the aircraft we're going to break them off and just bend those pieces as you can see they can only go one way as well so you can't mess that up when you put them on and they will go into the airplane got these little vents here all right so here's part of these coolers like I said bend the grill and I wasn't too worried about the color on the inside because it's hard to see in there because it gets dark so put that piece in there and you see it just slides it has like one area goes to the right and the other goes straight up and down so that's how you know you can't mess up which piece goes where odd I know you'd think they just would be exactly the same but I guess to them it matters more photo etch parts right there on the side. Just bend the little tab. Yes, they are small. We all know photo etching is small and can be a pain. And there it is. Got those little pieces on there. Now this slides right on in. Glue that down. Then this piece gets glued right here. You turn it upside down. Put that in. You got your little cooling tanks and stuff like that. Uh, get some side pieces. I'm going to put those on. More model making madness and making this thing look pretty. Putting the glue on right there. Make sure you scrape away your paint, of course. You know, you get good adhesion that way. There's the other side. We're going to let these pieces sit and dry for a little bit while they uh, do their thing. Got another little air intake right there. Three different pieces. Already put one of them together, and that's how that looks. So here's the wing assembly now putting in our landing gear piece right there glue that down see where it has all the little tabs that way it doesn't shift each one of these can only go one way as you can see have your right side and your left side put those down make those look pretty next up we are going to attach the wing panels they just snap into place, put your glue along, and you can kind of see the uh, insides there where our guns are at. So you have to figure out how to cover that up. Maybe liquid mask, I forgot to cover mine, and they got painted over naturally, but you really can only see just the tips of those. We're also gonna be putting on the uh, flaps onto this. They slide right into place too. Here is the other wing. Same thing, glue it down. I'm not gonna show you all of it. Your wing tips. Those go in, you see how I did that, did each side a little differently just so you could see how it could get done. Slide that one in and this one I pressed all the way in and just let the glue get down in there by itself. All right, so now the flaps also can't mess those up, glue those into place that way they don't come out. Even though they're flaps and we know they should move, you should see a clear line there and you do even though they are glued down. So make sure you glue this into place here, you see how it snaps into the back there. Go along each of the edges, and you see how this meets up right there. It's kind of at the top and then angles outward, both sides. We're also going to be putting some pieces right onto the top of the fuselage again, actually the bottom side of it. So here we have that cooler, goes right there. You can see where the wheel wells, how they look like, very pretty. Now we have this little piece right here that goes in make sure you put that in the right direction too have this guy right there snap that into place and you'll see where the landing gear goes we will put that in on the next video without gluing it 
have this little piece, subscribe, comment, and like. And as always, until next time, see ya.